Hey, what's going on, foodies? So, um, it's just me today, and I am cooking up something a little bit different. Uh, good old cow tongue. Um, <clears throat> I've never cooked this. I don't know much about it. I uh, had a friend of mine from high school. Uh, she sent me a recipe, and um, I'm going to try it. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but um, you know how we do it here. We love learning. So we're gonna learn together. So I'm gonna get this going in this pot. I'm gonna fill it halfway full of water, uh, get it boiling, throw in some ingredients, and then I will let it simmer. Uh, she said for at least two hours. So I might go a little over two, so we just kind of play it by ear. But um, I'm gonna get this filled up with water and we're gonna get things rolling. So stay tuned. So what we're going to put in the pot uh, is an onion, some salt, I got some Himalayan sea salt here, some pepper, uh, some bay leaves, uh, dry oregano, and <clears throat> a whole head of garlic. I'm going to get this chopped up and then we're going to throw it in the pot with our cow tongue. So if you notice what we did, I got the head of garlic and I just kind of peeled them. It gave us about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 10 cloves. Um, the onions here, I just quartered them. Um, and the, the instructions, she said have them. I just went ahead and quartered them just because I've misread the instructions, but I digress. So let's go through all this in the pot with the tongue and uh, let's get rocking. All right, we have our water going. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to throw the cow tongue um, into the pot. See this big fatty piece right here? This will get cut off later. But um, it's a pretty solid piece of meat. We're going to go ahead and put that in. Make sure that is completely submerged, which it is. I'm going to go wash my hands and I'm going to go get the rest of the ingredients. All right, so I got my hands washed and um, I actually went ahead and wiped down the counter with some 409. Just a clean workstation is a happy workstation. Anyway, so the garlic is going to go in. And then we're going to put the onion in. Okay, so I'm gonna do two tablespoons of the salt, pepper, and dry oregano leaves. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. You smell that food, don't you, buddy? It smells good. Yeah. All right, two tablespoons of uh, Salt. That should be good. So cracked pepper. Alright, I might have to add some more pepper later. And then we're gonna do five bay leaves. So one, two, Three, four, five. One of them was half, so I'll throw in one for good measure. And now we wait. 
Once it starts to boil, I'll turn it down and uh, we'll let it simmer for a minimum of two hours. All right, we got it boiling pretty good. So I'm just gonna kinda turn it down. We're just gonna let it simmer for a few hours. And then we'll check back. All right, we're back. It's been two hours. Um, what I did was I stuck a fork in here and pulled the fork out real smoothly. So I know it's getting tender. So now I'm gonna pull it. And then we'll take it over and do a little cutting. Oh, that's a big tongue. All right. And we got it out. We'll take it over to the other side and get it chopped up. All right, so we got it on our chopping block here. And what we wanna do is this white casing part, we're gonna to try to peel all this off. So, what we're gonna do, still kind of warm, making us cut down through there. And then, it's definitely firmed up a lot. And we're gonna just cut down through here. And this should just peel back. There you go. And I'll go ahead and just peel all this off. Okay, so we got that membrane off, and it's just smooth now. Now we're going to cut this fat off right here. And you see this layer of fat. There's some meat there, but I'm just more concerned about getting this fat off. All right, I like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make slices horizontally. What we're going to do now is we're going to head over and throw it in a skillet with some butter and kind of uh, fry it up on both sides. So, all right, now that I got these things chopped up, it's time to put them on the skillet. You know, if I get a chance to break out the cast iron, I'm breaking it out. So, I'm going to get this up to temperature, throw some butter in there, and then I'm just going to kind of sear these on each side for a little bit. And then we're going to pull them off and see how they taste. All right, so I got my cast iron up to temperature. Um, I don't know if you noticed the crock pot here, but my wife is not a big fan of trying the calton. So her and the kids are having a honey garlic teriyaki chicken meal. I'm not sure, but I'm working hard at this. Anyway, so I'm gonna sear it after I put the butter in there. Boom, put them on this plate, let them cool off. But as for now, let's get some butter in there. All right, I'm gonna just start laying these down. As soon as you lay it down, you hear that sizzling. Get the, try to get the big pieces in and a few small ones.
All right, we're just gonna cook these for a second here. And then we're gonna do the same thing until we get them all done. A little fun side note, uh, this, is, this butter is popping a lot. So next time maybe I would use a tablespoon of butter versus two tablespoons, but I would definitely get a splash shell. All right, and finally, this is what we're looking at. So my favorite part, the tasting table. I should probably clean up first. And here we have this final product. Nice golden brown color. Can't wait to try it. All right, my favorite part of the show, um, the taste test. So a quick rundown. We had the tongue, uh, we rinsed it off, we put it in a big old pot of boiling water. Uh, once it started to boil, turn it down, let it simmer for about two hours. I think I actually went like two hours and 10 minutes. Um, but in that boiling pot, we put onions, garlic, oregano, bay leaves, salt, pepper. And then after that, after we boiled it, I took it out, kind of let it cool, took off the membrane around the tongue. Then I chopped it up into slices like this, took it to a cast iron skillet, put some butter in there, and then I seared it on each side. And voila, here we are. I also have some yellow mustard and uh, the General's hot sauce. I would show you this in another video. This is my second bottle. This stuff's amazing. Um, if you haven't tried it, still get a chance to try it. Uh, I'm ready to dig in. So we're gonna go with the mustard for, actually I'm gonna taste it by itself first is what I'm gonna do. Not a good piece right here. Kind of has like a burn, uh, burned, uh, cooked spam smell to it. Really tender piece of meat. Um, it's not chewy. It kind of has like a rubber texture when you first bite into it, but it's not bad. A little gamey, but not bad at all. Um, the recipe that my friend sent me she uh, suggested that i chop it up real small after it got to this point and then she gave me a great recipe for uh, salsa and uh basically it was how to make uh the tacos out of this meat i was also reading that these are really good snacks just like this so i wanted to know what this piece of meat tasted like so that's why i didn't go the taco route because I didn't want to cover it with a bunch of other flavors. I wanted to know what this tastes like. Um, it's not bad. It's really good. Like I said, a little bit gamey, but not too bad. I'll try some mustard on it though. Um, flavor scale, I would have to give it a, i give it a seven. All right, a little bit of mustard. The mustard's good on it, but the mo mustard overpowers the flavor of the tongue. Um, I'm not getting any of the ingredients that I put in that pot to boil. So I don't know how much of that actually got absorbed, but they turned out great. Um, i try some hot sauce now. It's a little bit chewy but not a bad chewy. It's like easy to tear into, but you're just, I feel like I'm chewing it for a while. Well, that could also be because I'm running my mouth. All right, another piece. Man, that hot sauce does not disappoint. I'm telling you, if you haven't tried it, you need to try it. Mm. That is delicious. Wow. So, my final analysis. I would give 
this by itself was seven. I mean, I didn't get any of the flavors of the boiling water, but it wasn't bad. It was good, really tender, cooked really well. Um, the texture was a little bit different, a little bit gamey, not too much. Um, I tried it with a mustard. Mustard was good, just overpowered it. So all I could really get was the texture of the meat instead of the flavor of the meat. The hot sauce, it kind of overpowered it too, but it's like a good overpower, like it just made it delicious. So with this and this, I'd say a seven, with this and this, I'd give that a nine. That's pretty incredible stuff. So now that I know what the meat tastes like, I will try to make a taco out of it or something and see how that goes. But if you've ever cooked with this, let me know what you did, how you cooked it, what you did differently. Um, and if you've done a if you have done a video of yourself preparing it, I'd like to see it so I can learn. Keep growing um, in my culinary skills. But as per usual, thank you all for watching. Uh, Please remember to like and subscribe, and uh, y'all have a good night. I'm going to finish this up. Bye.